Good day, everybody. It's June 19, 1055 a.m. Sorry I took down my last video because there was a error in it. So once again, I'm not a big editor. What you see is what you get. I believe uh, consistent and fast video is more helpful than uh, one you take eight hours to edit and come up with the mucking the bullshit in it. Okay, now this video I tried to see how long the you know, vegans have been murdering their children and abusing their children for. And it went back as far as I could see. Uh, it starts about around the year 2000. And so vegans have been doing this for 20 years where they abuse and starve their children. But they don't want to acknowledge it. You read the story here, this woman is a Seventh-day Adventist, they're vegans. And what I noticed with all of these vegan couples where their child has been dying, is the doctors actually were able to see that these kids, this is how the murder conviction actually sticks. They were under a professional doctor's care. A doctor who had 10 years worth of school, schooling to learn about human physiology and its needs and it's healing it and what causes the body to die and how to prevent it well most of these vegans first of all that are going to uh, jail for murder they have three four kids okay that's really bad and most of the kids under the care suffer and one of them just dies when they become irrational following this the veganism cult for example, you see Freely bragging that she drinks two liters of orange juice in the morning for breakfast and she's dancing around there with her bony little body. Uh, inside each liter of that orange juice, she drinks like a two liter. There's about a dozen oranges, okay? Each one of those oranges has 29 milligrams of oxalate. Uh, when your body gets filled up with oxalates, which are basically uh, crystallized minerals, it's it's sort of like ingesting um, ground glass, and that and that's what's going through your body. So when she's sitting there bragging that, oh look at my stomach's flat, that's because first of all you're malnourished, okay, and you're covering your shoulders with your hair to hide that fact. We all know why you're doing it. Second of all. Your organs are shrinking because you don't ingest any cholesterol. Your brain is 40% cholesterol. Uh, most of your body cells are about at least 30 to 70% cholesterol. So if you don't eat cholesterol, you get organ shrinkage. Your body starts starving and starts seeking it out for nourishment. And on top of it, you're having like a dozen to two dozen oranges in the morning and each orange has 29 milligrams of oxalates. And it takes your body 10 years to get those oxalates out. And why do you think you need a breast implants? Because, you know, your breasts, they're, they're mammillary glands. That's an organ. Those, those shrunk too, didn't they, freely? That's why you had to go in and get your breast implants done. All your organs are shrinking. Your brain, your breast, your innards. Uh, you don't know, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Putting oxalates in the human body doesn't help it, it kills it. You, you understand freely? You get to watch this video. So these morons have been killing their children for 20 years, <laughs> as far as I can tell. And then what's the excuse? Well, omnivores do it, so you have to tell them. You show me when omnivore parents force their child on an omnivore diet, and that child has died as a result of the diet. And I'll tell you how many uh, times that it's happened. Zero. You'll never find one case on here where a child was starved by being fed. A certain diet. <clears throat> Again, vegan parents, uh, 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 they, they know their kids are sick, the doctors are telling them, and they're pulling the kids out of the doctor's medical care, and they're following this damn quackery, and they're murdering their kids. The vegan diet does not work. There's a big hole in it. It's called oxalates. If your body gets full of oxalates, you go into a stage of hyperoxaluria. 
the oxalates gather around your eyes, I'll say it again, and causes dark area, areas that, uh, that we refer to as raccoon eyes, okay? Look, my eyes are the same color. Your hairline starts to recede. I'm not vegan, I'm 55 years old. It's a shame that there's people out there, younger than me, men, who have half the hair that I do or less. <clears throat> uh, also, guys out there, your libido gets cut short because oxalates damage the male plumbing. And, and, and on Hench Herbivore, with the nonsense that he says that vegans don't get 14 different diseases that meat eaters do. Where? Prove it. Where's the studies? Not the make, made up Dr. Gregor shit. Where are the studies? There are none. You're lying. And I'll tell you to your face. You want to debate me? Debate me. You tell me that oxalates don't exist in an abundance inside a vegetarian diet. You tell me how soy is very high in oxalates. And how spinach, which is one of the most high oxalate uh, green leaves you can eat. And you guys are bragging about how much of it you eat. And then you turn around and say, well, we cook the spinach that takes the oxalates out. And then you don't realize that when you cook spinach, you double up the oxalates. So, again, vegans, if you need help, you're following these people, don't follow them. Don't feel rejected if you leave them behind. We'll help you get out. It, this is like leaving a cult. You need support. You need help. We will try to help you. We will try to heal you, both mentally and physically, and get you away from these people before they ruin your life. And let me tell you, most of the stuff that's happening to people on this vegan diet, the damage is irreversible. And I can show you right here. If you read this article. It will tell you that the boy that was six months years old, after they did an autopsy on him, right? He died in March last year from medical complications due to the lack of B12. And what happened? He had irreversible development damage and physical damage. It's all in his... All in there. The kid was eight months old. It's all here. Read the article. Get a good look at the links. This is child abuse. There's no doubt... But the vegans have been uh, running their propaganda saying this doesn't count. Those kids' lives don't count in order to keep pushing their fanatical beliefs on everybody. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Best of luck to you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Think before you jump into being a vegan. Look in my old my older videos. You'll see where the oxalates come from. There's a list of oxalates from uh, St. Joseph of California, which actually does scientific research on nutrition. And you'll also see uh, the oxalosis and hypoxaluria foundation will also tell you the damage that high oxalate diets will do to you. It's there. Learn it. Save yourself. Don't let these people take your soul. All right. Later. Good luck to you all. Love to you all.